Hello, I am Dr. Nayan. You are watching Biodesk. Today, in this video, we shall study phylum Chordata. The term Chordata has been taken from Greek language, in which Chorda is a word that means rod and Ata means bearing. So the members of this group are commonly called rod-bearing animals. The name Chordata is attributed to William Batson. Chordata is the last major group of animal kingdom. You must remember in animal kingdom there are 10 major phyla. Phylum Chordata includes the animals having a rod-like notochord in their body at some stage of their life. Notochord that latter changes into the backbone vertebral column in vertebrate animals. As in this diagram you may see the backbone is towards the back side or dorsal side of the body. Phylum Chordata is highest developed and most important phylum. It includes human himself. This group includes about 60,000 different species and the most common examples are fishes, amphibians which includes frogs, snakes, lizards, birds, mammals, etc. All chordates possess some unique fundamental characters at some stage of their life. These include dorsal tubular nerve cord. Tubular means hollow. On the dorsal side of the body, in every chordate, we see a tubular structure. This tubular structure is the hollow structure that latter develops into brain and spinal cord in higher vertebrates. This is the nerve cord from which brain and spinal cord develops. This nerve cord is the nervous structure. One other structure found in chordates is the rod-like notochord. Notochord that forms the endoskeleton of the body. Notochord lies in between the nerve cord and elementary canal. So this is solid notochord and the hollow tubular nerve cord. Except these two features, one another is pharyngeal gill slits. Means in pharynx region, there are paired gill apertures. Gill slits are one of the important fundamental characters of all chordates. And similarly, one another peculiar feature found in chordates, we see post anal tail. Post anal means the tail lies behind anus. In the diagram, we can see the posterior opening of elementary canal that is called anus and behind anus there is the tail. This we call post anal tail. So presence of nerve cord, notochord, gill slits and post anal tail are said to be fundamental characters of chordates. These are found in all individuals at least in early developmental phase. Now let us see common examples of phylum chordata. This group includes Amphioxus, Herdmania. These are primitive chordates, less developed chordates. Other developed chordates that form the group vertebrata includes fishes, turtles, birds, frog, shark, snakes, crocodile, owl, elephants or the mammals. These are common examples. Now let us see the general characters of phylum chordata. This group includes highly developed 
organ system grade of body organization. So, organ system is highest developed in chordates in comparison to that non chordates or invertebrates. These are aquatic or aerial or terrestrial. Remember, aquatic means living in water. Some fresh water, others are marine. Aerial means they may be flying and terrestrial living on land. So almost the chordates are found in all habitats on land, below land, in air, on trees or in water. So almost in all habitats. This group includes all free living members with no fully parasitic forms. The body is triploblastic. Remember triploblastic having three layers of germinal cells. These are ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. They are silomate having true silome. Bilaterally symmetrical, right and left side similar. And metamerically segmented body divided into many similar segments. This segmentation is very clear and is represented by the presence of different bones of vertebral column, vertebrae. And these bones form the endoskeleton, endoskeleton, the supporting framework of the body. So inside the body, we also have a supporting framework that is called endoskeleton. Locomotion takes place by paired appendages. These may include fins or paired limbs. Respiration, the gaseous exchange, takes place by different organs and these include gills, lungs or skin. Remember, skin helps in respiration or gaseous exchange in case of amphibians. Some more general characters. One is about alimentary canal, the digestive tract. Alimentary canal is complete, means all the structures are developed here. The circulatory system is of closed type. Closed type means you must remember, blood flows through closed vessels only. Blood is always inside blood vessels. This system is called closed type of circulatory system. And in them, heart is always ventral, towards ventral side. And RBC is present. RBC is present means hemoglobin present and blood is red. Nervous system and sense organs are well developed. Excretion takes place by paired kidneys. So kidneys are the excretory organs. Excretion, the process of removing metabolic waste. Sexes are mostly separate, means they are unisexual and reproduction is of sexual type means reproduction takes place by sexual methods only. Fertilization is external or internal. Some members perform external fertilization but in most of them internal fertilization taking place inside the body of the parents and development may be direct, may be indirect. Direct in case of most individuals while indirect in amphibians where the development includes a free living tadpole larva. So larval stage seen then the development called indirect and when no larva babies are similar to their parents at the time of the birth then it is called direct development. Now let us have a quick look on the differences between chordates and non chordates. Remember, non chordates are also called invertebrates. One is the differentiating character notochord. 
notochord that later forms into a skeleton, the skull and the backbone. So this notochord is present in chordates and absent in non-chordates. The central nervous system that includes brain and spinal cord and in primitive stage we have seen the nerve cord. This central nervous system is dorsal in position towards the back side, hollow tubular and is single. But in case of non-chordates, the central nervous system is ventral. Remember the earthworm, arthropods. We have seen ventral nerve cord. So in them, if central nervous system is present, then it is ventral, solid and is double. The pharyngeal gill slits, we have just seen in case of chordates, gill slits, the opening of gills in the region of pharynx present in chordates and absent in non-chordates. The heart is present on the ventral side in case of chordate animals while in non-chordates if the heart is present then it is on dorsal or lateral sides. RBCs present in chordates absent in non-chordates and similarly the post anal tell tell behind anus is present in chordates and it is absent in non-chordates. This is all about the introduction and general characters of phylum chordata. In our next video, we shall discuss the classification of phylum chordata. So stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thank you.